Hi, my name is Eugene Kim of Faster Than 20. I'm offering a new program called Staying Strategic, and I'm really excited about it. It's designed to do three things. So the first thing is to basically help leaders stay clear and centered in times of stress and overwhelm. The second is to help leaders develop stronger strategy muscles. And the third is to offer a cheaper, and in my opinion, much more impactful way for groups to do strategic planning. So the workouts are actually published and available for free and in the public domain on this website. And if you'd like to learn more about them, you can just go and read about the workouts yourself. And I also know that this notion of a collaboration workout, uh, a workout that you do over and over again to help you build stronger collaboration muscles is actually pretty foreign to most people. And even reading a description of it isn't necessarily gonna give you a sense of what they are and how they work. And so I thought it would be really fun for me to actually take a little bit of a video actually doing a real workout on my own to give you all an experience of what the workouts are like and how they work. And so as my general topic that I chose, I actually chose these workout programs themselves, this, this program offering. Um, I have a lot of questions about how to package it, how to price it, what the value of it is, how to articulate that value, all of those different things. And as I was sitting down trying to figure out my answers to those questions, I was starting to feel stressed and overwhelmed. And I thought, hey, this is actually a perfect opportunity to use my own workouts to help myself and also to use it as a real life example to share with all of you. So what I did was I recorded it. This is the first workout of the series. It's called the question dumping exercise. It took me about 20 minutes. Um, we're going to play it back for you, uh, sped up, so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. And I'm going to provide a little audio commentary over it, so you'll get a sense of what was happening in my head as I was doing the workout, and also a little bit around why uh, the workout is having you do these exercises in the first place. So uh, that's about it. I hope you enjoy, and uh, please feel free to share any feedback or questions you might have. Thank you. The question dumping exercise, which is the first workout in the staying strategic program, is basically an exercise of just getting everything out of your head and into paper. The key here is that you're getting it down in the form of a question. And so what's happening is, yeah, you're getting stuff out of your head and onto the page, but in the process, you're also building your ability and your muscles around asking questions, which has a lot of benefits, both to strategy and many other things. And so here I have a blank um, Google Doc. You can use anything. You could use a Word document, you could use a text editor, you could even use pen and paper or post-it notes and uh, a wall. And I'm basically gonna start my timer and I'm gonna give myself five minutes and I'm gonna dump, start dumping questions. Um, when I give this instruction to other people, one of the things I note is, um, so first of all, use up the whole five minutes. So even if you run out of questions, just keep asking questions. If you have to make up questions, go ahead and do that. Quantity over quality. So don't worry about writing good questions. Don't censor yourself. Don't worry about like organizing them or asking high priority questions. Just try and dump as many questions as possible. So here I go. Here I am starting to dump questions. Not much to say here. I'm just, uh, you can start to see the things that are on my mind. When I've seen other people do these workouts, and even when I do them myself, there are times when I'm just churning out questions left and right, and there are other times when I'm really slow, when I'm really stuck. Right now, I'm kind of in between. I'm not going super fast, but you can see that there's a, a pause after each question. I'm also like pretty far into the design and prototyping of the collaboration gym. I'm getting close to offering it as a service, which is why I'm, I'm revisiting and thinking through some of these questions. But, um, but I'm not asking like big picture existential questions right now. I've really gone through that process before and they're not really on my mind. You can see there's a slight acceleration in the questions. I kind of have a thread that I've latched onto 
around just how much time this should take up. And there you go, that's five minutes. So I'm bolding the questions and now I'm going through a scoring process. The way the scoring works is you essentially are asking how certain am I that I know the answer? So if you feel really certain, then you give yourself a three. If you feel somewhat certain, you give yourself a two. If you have no idea, you give yourself a one. So I'm giving myself a lot of twos here. And that again indicates that I'm kind of in the middle of this process. So I don't have a lot of ones, a lot of big picture questions. Now I'm resorting, reorganizing the questions so that the twos go first and then the threes. You can see there are no uh, ones here. So I've started the timer again. I've given myself 10 minutes. And basically now is my opportunity to answer the questions. You can see I actually started answering questions from the bottom. That's because I personally, when I'm doing this exercise, I, I generally like to start with the, the questions where I feel like I know the answers up front and just get those out of the way. And then I might tackle the twos and then I might tackle the ones. If I'm doing this process multiple times, um, maybe I change it up, but this is pretty much the pattern that I use the first time I do a question dumping for any kind of project. So you can see me answering the question. That was pretty straightforward. I'm pausing quite a bit for a question that's a three, which is kind of interesting. And you can see I'm already sort of changing up the answer a little bit. I'm probably just getting organized in my head. And you can see I'm changing the answers again. So I said it's a three, but as I write it down, um, you know, I actually looking back at this, the process of answering the question sometimes helps you get that certainty. And so um, maybe it was more of a two initially, but as I start writing down, I, I start to see the clarity. You can see I actually rescored the question. I changed it from a three to a two because I realized actually I wasn't as certain about that answer as I thought. And so um, it's just good to note that. This is a little bit of a programmatic question about this whole staying strategic program. So I just crank that out. Feel pretty confident about the answer to this question. And so I'm cranking it out. Yeah, you can see that the threes, with the exception of that one question, I pretty much do know the answers, um, or I feel like I, I know the answers. Obviously, when you score things a three, that doesn't for sure show that you know it. It just makes you feel like you think you know the answer. And so part of the strategy process is, is validation of that. Um, so you can see right here, I, I came up with another question in the process of answering. Um, a question. So you can always add new questions, but what I tell people to do is just make sure you, you score and tag them. Um, we haven't gotten into tagging in this workout yet, so I just scored it. And I continue flushing out my answer. So this, this whole thing about questions coming up as you start answering questions, like that's a super common thing. And a huge part of the discipline is to just capture as many questions as possible. And it's an iterative process. So you start by dumping things in your head. And as you start answering questions, new questions are going to arise. You can see I have another question that came up in the process of answering this question. So I'm making sure I capture it, making sure I score it. You can see yet another question came up. And this is actually my first question that I'm scoring a one. So I put it at the top of the list. And that was the end of my 10 minutes. And that was the end of my question dumping workout overall. So I congratulated myself. I'm happy that it's done. The whole thing took about 20 minutes. And I put this aside and I'm going to revisit this exact same workout actually again tomorrow. All right, so that's the workout. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. 
I will do this workout again and I will record it again and I'll once again share some commentary. And I think over time, as you see the different recordings, it'll really give you a sense of what the program is and why it might be useful. Thanks, feel free to share any feedback or questions you might have and I'll see you next time.